So this is going to be a shorter like video, and I do apologize for that, but I have a flight to go on to Florida in like a day, so I won't have as much time to edit it. As you can see, this is like not professionally set up like at all. But this is a video covering the like Odin Windows port, and um, I kind of regret putting it on my system because um, this is actually my fault. I didn't back up my game saves at all. So remember in my review how I said I had eight hours in Chibi Robo and eight hours in um, Mario and Luigi Dream Team and a bunch of other games like Animal Crossing. I had like six different towns, all gone. That's, that's me being stupid though. I could have just backed them up on my computer. Um, but something else that is annoying, Citra doesn't work like at all. I, it, it just doesn't. Um, Dolphin doesn't work as well as I wanted it to. And like Steam games don't run that well, like depending on the game, it depends on the game. I, I haven't tried out Portal, but I've tried out like this one game. I've tried out Snakey Bus at its lowest resolution possible. And Stammer Root, I think it is, three. Uh, Samaru doesn't have controller support, so I think that's just my fault. It, it like ran okay, I guess, but it's like a 2D. It'll take a little bit before like these games can be like well optimized, I guess through other versions of Windows. So like I have Windows here on this. There is no app just yet to customize, like uh, turn off the lights underneath the, the thumbstick and the sides. Uh, and this is all just like a pain for what took forever like i'll put in some clips now of me trying to install it but it took forever a bunch of retries i had to borrow something from my brother it was annoying and for me to just want to reflash it with the android skin it's, it's annoying here are the clips i did it it took forever my god hi it's here it's here it's here, getting things ready for you. It's working, it's working. I had to restart and do everything over, but it's fine. Oops, oh. oh. It's in light mode, cringe. Okay, look at that. How do I get dark mode? I mean, I guess you can get like better performance on certain games. Um, I think I just prefer Windows. It seems like it's all just like a very, a lot of like annoyance for something that really isn't worth it in the end. Like if you have Steam games at work, if you want to like do some tinkering, um, that's cool. But Citra is going to work better with Linux uh, when that's released whenever. It's only on the 845 Odin's though. Um, I think CMU doesn't work on o o Odin Windows right now, so I can't really do that. And it took forever to like install anyway, so I don't understand the like reasoning behind it, I guess. So this is a shorter video and I do apologize for that. I will probably have a bigger video next week, either talking about that handheld, if I ever get it, it hasn't moved uh, since last time. I think there's like a shutdown of something in China, so I can't be upset. Uh, yeah, but currently in its current state, I would not really recommend it to put windows on your odin unless you like look into it and see that there's some some pros for it i'd say um if you're more into like if you're into pc games and there's like pc like low powered pc games that you want to play on it sure go ahead but i am more into emulation and that's not really supported well on odin windows like i get it was more of a hassle to like have multiple emulators um on Android, but I mean it's better than it's better than one app that takes a lot of configuring and is annoying <laughs> That's the best way I could put it. It's annoying. Maybe try and get Windows to work better, but I think I'm just gonna reflash uh, Android onto this device and wait for Linux because Linux actually may be better for Citra emulation and I'm actually kind of excited for that because Citra is going open source And I think doesn't Citra already have Linux? You can build it for Linux but it is going open source, I think, if not already, and so is CMU. So, just have to see if it ever works out. If CMU gets ported to Linux and it runs well on the Odin, I'm going to go insane. But, 
that's really all I have to say for Odin Windows. Um, look into it, definitely. Before, Don't just take my word as gospel. Um, if you do want to like um, play like some low powered Steam games on here, uh, I would probably suggest, like if you want this more for like Steam games than Android games, I would kind of suggest um, putting uh, windows on your device but at the same time like at the same time it's not gonna be able to play that many great steam games in its current state at least um unless you like turn down all the settings which you're evidently gonna have to do uh i am kind of just talking out of my butt right now because i want to fill time even though i probably shouldn't be because i don't have much time but yeah i'll see you guys next week for hopefully something bigger than this uh goodbye <laughs> Okay, so this is being recorded after. I think I should just kind of wrap this all up in a better way. Um, put Windows on your Odin if you want better performance, if you want to play Steam games, low-powered Steam games, uh, and you're willing to go through the hassle of doing the whole setup guide. I'll have it linked in the description. But don't do it if you want emula emulation. If you want emulation, I'd say wait for Linux, especially if you want 3DS. I mean, it's up to you. Look into it. I'm not smart. <laughs> So this is just my um, opinions after using it for a few days. I kind of regretted it because the experience isn't great. Uh, shutting down and turning it on, it's, it drains a lot of battery in sleep mode and um, shutting it down, you have to like boot it all up again, which takes forever. So I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to tell you. If you want it, sure, go ahead. But um, I'm gonna reflash Android and get all of my save files, like restart all of my save files. <sighs> that was annoying. Oh well. Uh, see you later.